Hi everyone, I'm Jose Salamenta, software engineer at MuleSofa and in this opportunity I will show you how to integrate your Mule applications with Dropbox using Mule Studio and Cloud Hub. The requirements to run this demo are a Dropbox account, a Dropbox application that's possible to be created on developers.dropbox.com, a Cloud Hub account, um, you can create your own account on cloudhub.io, and Mule Studio C. In this case, we'll use Mule Studio 332. It's possible to be downloaded from MuleSoft.org. So let's go to the demo. The first thing that we have to do is to install the Cloud Connector in Studio. So help install new software. We will select the Cloud Connector at the side. This one. And we look for Dropbox Connector. I have already installed the connector, so let's create the project. We enter the project name. And after clicking on finish, Mio Studio will create the complete structure for the project. So this is a very simple demo. We have the first thing that we have to do is to create a, an HTTP endpoint for the authorization flow, so we drag and drop the HTTP endpoint and config the path for authorize. As, as you know, Dropbox use auth, so the first thing that we have to do with the Dropbox connector is to call to create a config and using the API key and API secret that depends on your application. In this case, I have my own keys here. I will copy them. And we have to config the auth callback. This will be automatically run by Mule. So we config the parameters, and that's all for the authorize. And now we'll create our flow, our main flow. So we drag and drop an HTTP endpoint, we config the path as Dropbox. And the first thing we have to do is to create a folder on our Dropbox account. So we look for the Dropbox connector. We will use the, the configuration that we created. Create folder and the folder path. Now, we will upload a file in cloud, um, on Dropbox, so we will get that file using an HTTP endpoint. So, I will download this image from usoft.org, so I copy the image link. I will cut the domain part. So. I will download using this HTTP outbound endpoint the image and then upload it to Dropbox. So I drag and drop the Dropbox connector next to the HTTP outbound. Use the same configuration, upload file, and we have to enter the file name and the path. So as you see, We'll use the same path for the folder that we, we will create. Um, the last operation that we'll call is to get the, the uploaded file link. So we'll choose the path for the, for the file that we will upload. And we'll return the response as JSON. So we add a transformer from object to JSON. So that's all. You see, as you can see, it's a very simple demo. So we run the application. Right click, run as, new application, new start to deploy the application, and we go to the browser. The first thing that we have to do is to call the authorized flow. That we will start the auth dance with Dropbox. So next, you can see the dialog from Dropbox. We allow the application to access our information. 
we get the callback and now we will call the Dropbox endpoint for creating the folder and uploading the file. So as you can see we uploaded the file, we'll go to our account, we have the file here and we got the link. So if we choose a link we go and get the image. So the next thing that we will do is to adapt our application to be run on Cloud Hub. So what we have to do here is to replace our external ports for a placeholder provided by Cloud Hub that will be automatically replaced by Cloud Hub. The placeholder is HTTP.port. So I replace the external port, in this case the endpoints. Replace it to endpoints. And we have to replace the external port for our OAuth callback. And I, I will use for the domain another placeholder provided by Cloud Hub called full domain. I will replace the local port for HTTP port, remove the remote port, and that's all. That's all for the configuration. So we save our project and we have to export our application. So right click, export. We select the name for our application and that's all. We have to go to our Cloud Hub account upload your first application, we have to select the domain we choose the file and add application this process could take a few minutes so we can follow the process on the tab logs on our Cloud Hub account So the I will remove the the folder in order to test the complete flow again. Okay. Remove the folder and that's all. So after the application has already started, as you can see in the logs, I will open a new tab on the browser and I will call the authorized flow using the complete domain from Cloud Hub. You can see the dialog here. We allow. We get the callback and once we have authorized our application, we call the Dropbox endpoint and we get the information. As you can see, it's created again and that's all for this demo. So as you can see, integrating Mule with Dropbox using Mule Studio and Cloud Hub is pretty straightforward. Um, please don't hesitate to contact us and visit our website at mulesoft.org, the Dropbox connector documentation at GitHub, and our blogs at blogs.mulesoft.org. Hope you enjoyed the demo. Till the next time. Bye.